So, this whole Occupy Wall Street shenanigans are still going on. Way to call them shenanigans and show that you have an open mind. You know, I would be okay with the whole movement if they come up with a solution. If they said, well, this is what we're fighting for. Instead of being so general and they're fighting for this and that and this and that. If they're do, do you know why they're fighting for this and that and this and that? You know why they're being general? It's because the one message of Occupy Wall Street is everything is fucked up and we need to come together to figure out how to fuck to solve our problems. Instead of just trusting governments and trusting these politicians and these corporations to come up with policy decisions that just blatantly fuck most of us over. Just say, hey, this is what we're fighting for. Come join us. They've done it. They've um, done that since day fucking one. And honestly, I'm at the point now, after weeks and weeks of this shit, that anyone who doesn't know this is just blatantly and willfully ignorant of these facts. It's been obvious since day one, not, since before day one of the protests, when they were announced what it was all about. But for some reason, the media says, oh, we don't know what they're about. All because the point of the movement is to come up with solutions because politicians and corporations haven't so far. That's the entire point, is that we're sick of just sitting on the sidelines. We're sick of just accepting what politicians and corporate businessmen shove down our throats. Might be down with that, if I agree with what they're fighting for. And that's where I have a problem. I mean, I don't see how you have two totally different groups fighting for the same thing or against the same thing, but they both have different solutions. Really? You don't understand debate? You don't understand discussion? You don't understand how there can be multiple ways to solve a problem and that the point of debate and discussion is to come up with which, is to decide which one or which compromise is going to be the best solution? You don't understand this basic fucking tenet of how to progress intellectually and you're here on YouTube making these kind of videos? I, I, I'm just confused. I'm sorry, sir, but it's just incredibly confusing that you would be so ignorant of basic fucking, the, the basic tenet of how debate and discussion works, let alone willfully ignorant of the message of Occupy Wall Street. I don't see how that's going to work. Uh, and what I understand is pretty much they are leaving, leaving it up to the government to figure it out. Where the fuck did you get that? What the fucking, the whole point of occupying Wall Street is because we've occupied the shit out of the Capitol buildings, out of all the different places politicians go. We've occupied the shit out of these places. We've complained on the steps of the White House. We've complained on the steps of Capitol Hill. We've complained everywhere where there are politicians. But we recognize that our that our current system of politics and our current government is incredibly, ridiculously corrupt. So what do you do in this situation when you recognize that there are two groups of people actively working against your own interests and protesting the shit out of the one that is traditionally protested isn't working anymore? Not much is getting accomplished that way. What do you do? You occupy Wall Street instead. You occupy the people corrupting the goddamn government so you can then get to the fucking root of the problem. And I really don't see how that's going to work because that's your whole problem. The government is the whole problem. Again, no one's ever said anything differently. What we're saying is that there's more to the problem than just government because we're willing to actually look at facts and understand the complicated economic reasonings behind the fact that we have a huge unemployment rate and behind all of this because we actually don't just buy into this fucking stupid mantra of individual responsibility of which I will post a link to a video I uploaded just earlier today down there which will explain that a little further. To, to say, to go to Wall Street and to say that they're going to change things is not going to happen. You, the people there at Occupy Wall Street are still buying you know, the goods and services that these corporations uh, produce. 
Now, of course, just because we still exist in a corporate system and we benefit from corporations doesn't mean we can still be against them. Because we're not saying corporations are entirely evil. We're not saying that that is the only case. We're saying that the system we live in is wrong and we need to correct it. But until it's changed, we're living in this fucking system. You can live within something you don't like and advocate for its fucking change, for its fucking alteration. Again, Basic fucking tenet of debate and discussion in politics. Uh, clearly, you can see in the videos that they're on laptops, they're on cell phones, uh, they're wearing clothes. All of which don't need corporations to be produced. It's fucking retarded to think that. They're eating food. Uh, all these things are made by these corporations. So, to protest and hold signs up... Actually, they're made by the people within corporations. Corporations don't actually do anything. But I'll let that point slide. ...are not hurting them. I think that... I don't think there could ever be a solution with these two opposite views that are there. Watch... Then you're a fucking idiot. Watch the Peter Schiff video. Listen to the different, um, different opinions of the people that he interviews. You know, some are anti-capitalism and some are for capitalism. Well, if you have... Again, a part of debate and discussion is learning to reconcile our differences. One group that wants to get rid of capitalism, another group that just wants to get rid of the, you know, the corruption that has made capitalism look bad and that has... I'll, I'll actually save pointing this out, but a lot of us would believe that capitalism necessarily leads to corruption. But uh, we'll just ignore that because I'm not trying to come up with any of those solutions in this video. I'm just trying to point out how... I don't know. I don't know what to call you, Mr. Flip the Coin. You don't make any sense to me, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you are just willfully ignorant, which I've claimed earlier, and I still kind of believe, but I, I, at, this, at this point, I'm just fucking confused. I just don't know where, where the fuck you're coming from, how you could ignore all these basic tenets of how politics works. I mean, that's the way it's worked since the... Since we fucking started banding together to create tribes and shit, is everybody has their own input, and in various ways it happens. Because even in a monarchy, you still have some control. You still have some ability to discuss and debate things. Of course, it's incredibly limited, but there's still some of it. This is just a basic tenet of how anything ever gets done, ever. Ever, in the entire history of human... It just confuses me. I kept it from working. Just how do you get that to work? I mean, really, how, how is that supposed to work? Again, you and debate and discuss. And is a waste of time. You're because a you fucking waste of time. Because you two different groups there. And two different opinions. Who's ever heard of two different groups with two different fucking opinions? It's not like that forms the basis of our goddamn political system and our two-party system in this country where there is a Republican Party and a Democratic primary or party, uh, both both with distinct opinions, though these days a lot of those opinions tend to support the same things or it's very similar. But the point is, is our entire system is based around what you're criticizing and saying is impossible. So if you have some kind of way that it's going to work or you have some opinion that I'm not seeing or whatever, just... The opinion is not, is not an opinion, it's just the fact. It's called basic discussion and debate. Again, I don't know why I had to keep repeating this, but it's fun. Just leave me a comment below. Straighten me out. I love to be straightened out. I'm sure you do. Remember when you opened it up with Wall Occupy Wall Street shenanigans. I'm sure that you love to be straightened out what, with your open mind and ability to think outside of... Well, actually, no. You're thinking way too inside the system to the point where the system is now outside of the box for you. And I'm done.